Hello my friends and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Well, that's good, good news. Um, the war was uh, postponed, was avoided for now because the two parties in uh, that part of the world agreed to a little deal. I'm talking about the Serbs and the Albanians regarding Kosovo license plates. So, I have two articles here, one uh, from Reuters, the other one from Sputnik. I will start with uh, Reuters one. Uh, both articles are from today, the 23rd of November 2022. Kosovo-Serbia reached deal to end dangerous dispute over car plates. And it says that Kosovo and Serbia reached a deal to end a nearly two-year dispute over car license plates in northern Kosovo, which the West has warned could trigger ethnic violence, the European Union's foreign policy chief said. We have a deal. Josep Borrell posted on Twitter after the agreement was reached in Brussels under EU mediation. This is just a... Um, <clears throat> uh, little fix of a actually non-issue, I would say, but if they want to make a big deal out of it, as I said, are you independent or you're not independent? It's the same thing as uh, with uh, Taiwan. Are you part of China or you're not part of China? Uh, you can't have it both ways. Uh, China says, no, you're part of, uh, or our, of our country. Uh, the other guy said, no, actually we can do whatever we want. Uh, so it's kind of like that, the same here. These guys, uh, consider themselves independent, but the Serbs don't consider uh, Kosovo as in, in independent. Kosovo is recognized uh, sometimes by 102 countries, sometimes by 94 countries, sometimes by 110, sometimes by 89. It depends how things uh, happen in other countries, which means that they don't go by principle, they go just by politics and uh, affinities, which uh, go figure. So we have here a uh, I'm going to just uh, say what Mr. Uh, Borrell said. Very pleasant to announce the, that chief negotiators of Kosovo and Serbia under EU facilitation have agreed on measures to avoid further escalation and to fully concentrate on the proposal on normalization of their relations. relations. No, <laughs> you're, you're just uh, wishful thinking here. Normalization. What do you mean normalization? The Serbs sees this, this as you took you, look, pointing at the Europeans and NATO and Americans, you took part of my territory and gave it to those people. That's how the Serbs look at it. And the Albanians said, well, we got the, this one because we voted and we're majority here and uh, under the protection of UN and blah, 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 blah. We, uh, we are here and you can't touch us. So what are you going to do about it? As I always say, if you keep your mouth sh uh, open uh, and you say things, at least, uh, you know, uh, be able to do what you promise, let's put it this way. So if you uh, put red lines everywhere and say you can't cross this one and the other one crosses it with impunity, then you better shut your mouth and don't set red lines anymore. <clears throat> so Kosovo has planned to start issuing fines from Thursday to some 10,000 Serb drivers who continued to use Serbian-issued car license plates. A previous attempt on Monday failed when Kosovo's Prime Minister Kurti and uh, Serbian President Vucic could not reach a deal and Kosovo was forced to delay the start of fining the drivers for 48 hours after US request. Serbia will stop. This is the deal. It's, it's something that is just... what? <laughs> what is this? And I'm quoting, Serbia will stop issuing license plates with Kosovo's city's denominations and Kosovo will cease further actions related to registration of vehicles, Borel wrote. So that means that Serbia will not issue license for the Serbians in, in Kosovo and then uh, the Albanians in Kosovo will not fine the people who have uh, licenses that are already issued by the authorities in Belgrade. Borrell said he will invite both parties in the coming days to discuss an EU proposal supported also by France and Germany that would allow the foes to normalize relations. Germany and France are bottom feeders. If you don't hear or you don't see anywhere United States, everything that these guys decide could be overturned by United States just like this. 
whenever the United States says something, the other guys cannot overturn whatever they say. Remember, this was postponed 48 hours because who asked? Not France, not Germany, United States. So these guys are just uh, kind of messengers. You know, when you, you, when you send uh, to sign some paper and you're too busy, you send your little lieutenants to go and do it for you. And you can always call and say, cancel that, and they have to. That's kind of like what is going on here in the United States. And the other ones are just, okay, uh, can we do, yeah, okay, go and sign that deal. But if you, I change my mind, I will veto whenever I want whatever you did, guys. So, yeah, Kosovo has attempted this year to require its Serb minority to change their old card plates, car plates that date before 1999 when Kosovo was still part of Serbia. Serbs in the northern part of the country have resisted sometimes violently. Around 50,000 ethnic Serbs will live there, who live there refuse to recognize Pristina's authority and still consider themselves as a part of Serbia. Kosovo's president Vjopsa Osmani thanked Washington for the deal. <laughs> I thought the deal was between uh, the Serbs and the Albanians. Yeah, and they know you have a master across the Atlantic, right? Yeah. And I'm quoting, their support for the dialogue process between Kosovo and Serbia is indispensable. Kosovo is grateful, Osmani wrote on Twitter. As a sign of disobedience over the car plates issue, close to 600 police officers from the Serb minority followed by judges, prosecutors and other state workers quit their job this month. It remained unclear whether they will be allowed to return to their jobs or if new people will be hired and they will be Albanians and then you see how happy the Serbs will be having all the authorities Albanians. <laughs> it's not gonna happen. In 2013, Kosovo and Serbia committed to an EU-sponsored dialogue to resolve all remaining issues between them. Like what? Like you're gonna be independent and we're gonna accept it? Never. But little progress has been made. Kosovo's 2008 Declaration of Independence is recognized by around 110 countries. Sometimes, sometimes 98, sometimes 102. It changes from week to week. But not by Serbia, Russia, China and five, five EU member states. Why? Because uh, uh, something like this could happen to them. So they don't want to endorse this kind of thing because then they otherwise will say, see, why don't we do this here too? Like for instance, Romania and Hungary. And it's about Transylvania. If Romanians would endorse this, then immediately the Hungarians could say, see, how about the minority in Romania should just have its own country or maybe, you know, be part of Hungary, you know. So uh, Romania could not, I think in good faith and good heart, to do such a thing and uh, recognize Kosovo because it, once they do those will be considered criminal by the Romanian population traitors let's put it this way and what happens to traitors the constitution is clear about that NATO still has some 3700 peacekeepers on the ground to maintain the fragile peace peace my ass <laughs> and then let's go to uh, um, Sputnik which uh, I would like to read to you what Vucic said. Uh, at the time, Serbian President, Vla I don't know what time, but it doesn't really matter. He says that President Alexander Vucic stated Pristina has been intending on using violence amid hostilities, underscoring that he would fully throw his support behind Serbs in Kosovo. What does this mean? You bet. That was when was the car plates thing. When the car plates thing, the the Albanians, including from Kosovo, sent uh, police special forces uh, up north into the Serb territory to maintain uh, tranquility. And then uh, that angered this, uh, the Serbs, and that's why he said at the time when this happened, Serbian President Aleksandr Vucic stated that Prisna has been intending on using violence amid hostilities, underscoring that he would fully throw his support behind Serbs in Kosovo fully means like uh, nuclear weapons if they have, which they don't. <laughs> and I'm quoting Mr. Vucic. If someone thinks that they can expel the Serbian people, kill and hurt our people, it is my job to remind them the same thing I have said many times with all seriousness and determination, Vucic said. And I'm continuing here. And when I say this, unlike other, unlike some others, 
I know what it means. We will be with our Serbian people and will not leave them in trouble. So isn't this exactly what the Russians are doing in Ukraine? Where the Ukrainian military killed the Russian population in the eastern part of Ukraine and then Russia intervened to defend them. This is just a uh, stripped down situation. Obviously, there are many details here and it's history about it. So isn't that the same thing? So why don't they challenge Vucic in whatever he said? Why don't they call him a uh, criminal, dangerous or something? Because basically this is what he says. If you guys attack my minority, my Serb, Serb minority in Kosovo, we will intervene with everything. Isn't that what Putin said for eight years? Stop killing the Russians in Donbas, Lugansk, Luhansk, Kherson and all that. Didn't he say that? And he waited eight years. And after eight years, he said, well, we got some protocols. You did not follow them. It's time for me to fuck you up. And America was like, finally, man. Okay, let's go, man. You waited eight years. So our companies are upset with us. They're not going to pump money in us to get elected anymore. And they did. Thank you very much for being with me again today. This is just a... They postponed the situation, the, the war. Because it's, uh, it can live like this, like North and South Korea to a certain extent, if you have buffer troops in between. But that's not going to be a uh, certainty that uh, violence will uh, escalate or will start in uh, Kosovo. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart. Look for the truth and be just.